Hey everyone, welcome to my home. This is the first time I'm giving a tour of it, and it actually has a name. It's called Orcondo, which is like my name, Orlando. Come on in. This is my living room. This is one of my favorite places in the house, obviously, because it's very serene and white. I designed it very modern and minimal because the space was inherently modern and minimal. And some of my favorite pieces in here are this custom chandelier from an LA company called Park Studio and this modern chrome coffee table. It is a waterfall design and not everybody loves them, but I find them to be like a great form that's kind of interesting and goes against all the other very straight angles in the room. Another one of my favorite pieces in here is this circle mirror that I have above the fireplace, which I love because I love all circle mirrors. I actually have no idea why I love circle mirrors, maybe because there's so many O's in my name. I also love that it has a wood frame, which brings in some nice warmth into the room, which is otherwise very minimal and white. Next, let's go into the dining room. I completely renovated this place, and one of the things that I really wanted was floor-to-ceiling shelving in the dining room to put all of my flea market stuff on. So there's a lot going on in here, but I tried to corral it and make it very organized by having little groups of books and decorative objects. And some of my favorites are these weird skulls that my boyfriend found that are gilded, that are kind of creepy. And all of this art is actually from the flea market as well. I think something that's important when you're working with a lot of uh, antiques that you're finding at flea markets is actually adding in some more modern pieces. This is a little modern sculpture that I found that I think adds some freshness to this otherwise very antique shelving situation. So one of our biggest splurges was these pendants that we have in the dining room. They're Mary McDonald and they were about a thousand dollars each which was a lot more than all of our other lighting but I had to have them when I saw them because I'm just obsessed with how graphic and geometric they are. This is my bedroom. So one of the more personal pieces in my bedroom is this photograph that I actually took in Yosemite. I was raised in Yosemite and my parents moved about a year ago, so I really miss it. It's very much the view that I had growing up and it's very much something that's near and dear to my heart. This bathroom used to be three different rooms actually. So when we remodeled, I wanted to make it as big as humanly possible. So we knocked down the wall that was here and we knocked down the wall that was here and we made one large space. The flooring is the only place that we brought in marble, even though I'm obsessed with marble, and it was relatively inexpensive. We just got it at Home Depot and installed it. Strangely, one of the most expensive things in the condo is this random lion bench that I have in the bathroom, which I found at the flea market for $50, and I just thought, like, this is hilarious. And then I brought it home, and I looked on first dibs and found out that it's by a Mexican artist, a sculptor, and they're worth, like, $7,000. So I found this art at Art Basel in Miami. It's very beautiful, but it's also very violent. So I think it's kind of about just like that discord of creating something that is very entrancing and at the same time also very disturbing. You guys, it's been really great having you in my house and showing you everything. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed living here, but I have to get back to work. So hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye.